Okay. We're here in the first chapter of the book, known as Chapter P, in Section 1, talking about real numbers. And for now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the real number line, which hopefully many of you are familiar with. Now, most of our answers to the questions in this textbook are going to be something, you know, of the form x equals 3. So they're going to be represented as a point on the number line. But some of our answers are going to be intervals or segments of the number line. Represented visually, or at least on this number line, as follows. And the natural way these segments occur is in measurements. And if I take a look at the number line that I've drawn here, the length of this number line is just over four inches. If I can kind of zoom in on this, this number line ends somewhere between the four inch mark and this particular ruler has halves, quarters, eighths, halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. So this next small tick is four and one sixteenth of an inch. Now, what you would say is simply that the actual measurement is just halfway between these two values. And if I use my calculator off screen here, you'd say that the length is four and one thirty second of an inch, which is four point O three one two five inches. But that's not the actual length because it's not exactly halfway between these two. You can't make an exact measurement. Measurements always come with an error. So we're claiming that the length is exactly halfway between these two. But in fact, it looks like the way I've drawn it here, it's a little bit longer, so there's got to be some error. Well, I can't exactly measure that error. The error is determined by the instrument itself, the ruler that I use to measure this with. So, in this case, our error is simply the distance between halfway between and the next marker. So the error is simply this value, this length, minus, say, 4 inches, or 4 and 1 16th minus this. And in both cases, we get that my ruler is accurate up to this error little over three, ten, three one hundredths of an inch. So the actual length is somewhere between the true length plus 
plus the error, that's the upper bound, and the lowest length that this number line above can have is our claimed length minus the error. Oops, I missed this. This should have been 0 0.03125. So 0 0.03125. That's what the actual length is. And so we quite naturally have an inequality. And really, you come across this every time you do a measurement. You have the actual length, assuming I can spell. You have the actual length. But there's also an error. There's also a toler the measured length. But there's also a tolerance of error in which the actual length falls. So in the next video, we'll talk about actually how we're going to be using these ideas and representing them mathematically.